Hello, hello. You guys can take off your mute. Yeah. <laughs> Formally, Ooh, are we allowed to talk? Yeah, we could talk. We wanted, we wanted to kind of do like a catch up with everyone and, you know, I'm going to be doing this where the little girls aren't on here yet, right? Okay. No, did people actually bring drinks? It wasn't a joke. <laughs> I'm not joking. So, uh, <laughs> first glass of anything since this quarantine. I have uh, just, just been drinking water and coffee. Did you guys, were you guys able to hear the video that I was sharing? Was the audio going yeah. through? Oh, okay. No. I figured, I mean, you know, we, we could have a DJ somehow. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll so if you guys don't know about her, look her up. She's really dope. Um, Chalk actually put me up on game about her, um, you know, saying that she was just one of those women back in the day that like really got down on the turntables. She's, you know, cut from the cloth. So, um, so much respect for her. And um, hopefully we get to meet her someday. Yeah, shoot. I'm like thinking we didn't even share videos. Let me see. Um, we're just going to wait for some people to come in. Yes. Guys, show your videos. We want to see everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it a little bit differently today. This is a, we're a little off the cuff. Um, just because, again, we haven't gotten a chance to really like catch up with everyone and say hi. Or meet, or meet everyone if you're new to the, um, to the community or new to um, even just the community chats um you know we can right go and do a run through of everyone Ooh, yeah so, class um, jitters <laughs> yeah so um i see that uh, you know we have a couple of um ios students in the house um so i wanted everyone to kind of like do a round robin and introduce themselves um if you <laughs> want to get on camera no pressure um we are uh you know we just love to hear your voice um but i'm gonna start it off first with let me toast to myself <laughs> <laughs> i have one that's been sitting in my in oh my I'm almost, i've almost done there sam i just started mine i'm just kidding um so Hey everyone, um, the ones that don't know me, my name is Maricel. Um, I am principal uh, of the Beach Junkie Institute of Sound and also uh, the founder of Ladies of Sound, um, which is a community that um, was inspired by the women who attended our school. Um, I, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard my story millions of times, but you know, again, I thought I was gonna be the only girl there or be like one of the few. Um, and to my surprise, uh, all these amazing women came through the door and uh, were down to learn this craft and went through all the challenges. And, uh, you know, or one of the, you know, they were like the top ones in their class. So very, very proud of them. And they're the reason why uh, Ladies of Sound even exists. So that is me. Also, Marcel just has uh, has a podcast out with Honey Do LA, where she basically goes into talking more about all of that, um, and it's cool. It's like the craziest, coolest intro ever. They're like, you know, it, it's really fun. You guys should listen to it. Um, it's on Spotify. It's on what is it on every major? Stream? Yeah, it's streaming on um, you know Apple uh, and Spotify, the two major ones. Um, but you know, I, they, we talk about it in the podcast. But again, the um, they were so Rye Toast. If you guys don't know Rye Toast and um, Jahan, which um, she goes by Allura, uh, they met at the school, and they were literally like the only two girls in what we had at that time as premium classes because they came in with experience. Um, you know, so they literally bonded, and I've just watched them just become this like awesome duo of friends that have done everything under the sun from DJing together to now obviously having this really amazing podcast and um I love like that's why I do what I do just to keep seeing that I mean aside just those girls I mean even watching all of you guys uh just become clicks and talk to each other on like their chats and seeing you guys hang out outside of that um that's you know for me that's everything uh, at least what drives me so so yeah, enough about me. Next uh, is, um, I'm gonna nominate you, Sam. Okay, all right. So hello, uh, my name is Sam, DJ Sammy G. 
Um, also the co-founder of Ladies of Sound. Uh, I started at the school pretty much when it first opened um, and I am part of the first graduating class. Um, still taking class till this day. Um, I figured out, I finessed a way to get to be an intern at the school. <laughs> um, kind of bugged them about it and luckily the stars aligned. <laughs> Um, what got to be an intern and then basically started uh, in the front at the front desk and then now my official title is sales and marketing admin for the B2B Institute of Sound and co-founder of Ladies of Sound so it's been a really really cool fun journey um, meeting all these different ladies um, in and outside of the school as well um, I am a little bit sad about not gigging, but it's cool because I'm really glad that there's a lot of time to practice now <laughs> and kind of hone in on stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's me. Um, and yeah. So who's, who nominate? Who's, up, who's up next? Oh, I nominate Cherish. Well, then we don't, some people don't know each other's name yet, but so we could say the names that um, is on the, your screen name, just in case anyone wants to look it up. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I nominate Cherish. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> I am Ladies of Sound New York City. What's up? Cherish the love. Oh, hold on. DJ Cherish the love. I thought about that. I've been practicing that all week for this moment. <laughs> uh, Ladies of Sound New York City ambassador, also student of the chunky institute of sound what i'm missing it so bad right now because i can't travel <laughs> oh, i'm still getting these notes like cancellation notes of gigs i'm like oh, obviously don't even bother writing it's just like constant <laughs> constant heartbreak uh and yeah uh happy to be here so glad we're doing this. I had been drinking early, that's why my cup is empty. I started earlier. <laughs> no control. Um, you can either nominate anyone, someone, or we can go down the line, but I think all of our boxes are different at home. Yeah, okay, let me nominate someone just because I like to have a sense of control and power. <laughs> all right, let me see. How do I even see We've this? Never met before. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. I see. This is like romper room. All right. I nominate Ruth because she's smiling so big. She knows. <laughs> I've never used this before. It's okay. <laughs> well, my name's Ruth Ann. Um, This is the first time um, pretty much on this. Welcome. Rolled yeah. uh, into this. So I'm really excited. It sucks that it had to be postponed, but I'm, at, I'm from Vegas as well. So I'm going to be driving out to LA. Just oh my right. gosh yes. so you signed up already yeah i'm already signed up um i heard about it from bella rose oh yes that's our girl yeah so i've seen her dj here at some of the clubs here and stuff mm -hmm. like that she's pretty big here uh, yeah she's she's yeah. Been, we met her at nam one year and then she's just been like going off she's been doing battles and things like that yeah so, cool. amazing she is hardcore like uh, talented i love i like love her energy and <laughs> her on the turntables it's crazy if you guys don't know who yeah. she is, we can try to get her into our chat and talk to you guys soon but uh yeah look her up but yeah what, what else about you ruth um well i just moved to vegas um uh, from a small town called calexico i don't know if you guys heard of it no i've heard of the it <laughs> that's cool else. though <laughs> Everyone thinks it's Mexico, but it's definitely not Mexico. Uh, but yeah, I just uh, go to work here. I'm a server. Uh, I just finished school at San Diego State. Mm. I do criminal justice. Um, but yeah, I'm just really trying to get into DJing. Um, so do you are you already have experience DJing, or will this have been your first time? Uh, like, this would be my first time. I mean, I bought like my first controller and stuff because mm -hmm. I wanted like to try to learn the fundamentals and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's hard when you don't have like an instructor to know if you're doing something right or wrong. Sure. Well, you came to the right place. I'll tell yeah. you. So that. sorry the timing yeah. didn't work and out. I don't have any like uh, friends who DJ or anything like that. So I thought that was. Well, know. look at you taking it into your own hands, which I think a lot of us here kind of feel that you're just one day you're just like, you know what? I need, I need for myself. Like, I'm like, I'm just do it. 
let's just do it. Let's do, what do we have to lose? <laughs> so that's awesome. Welcome. Thank You're you so welcome. Much. We're looking forward to when we open again to I have know. the class. Uh, Cause uh, yeah, it's been, it's been uh, strange with the times, but um, you know, I'm sure um, I'm not sure if you follow us on Instagram or I'm um, well, ladies of sound, but you know, I, I know that you're not getting that one-on-one -on -one instruction and the classroom feel, but, uh, I would suggest just getting into homeroom and, and kind of just, uh, try and follow along as much as you can. Um, you know, all of, a lot of the girls here that are in the chat today are also in the chat in the rooms and you can always talk to us and say what's up and, um, you know, I, it's it's something even with a controller that you can do so at least in the meantime you know you can kind of the guy the, you know the guys give a little bit of instruction but highly recommend just jumping in those and then you like again you'll you'll see a bunch of us um that are in the chat and uh yeah. and, you know now you're now you're going to be meeting a bunch of dj girls that's for sure yeah <laughs> well thank you for having me do you want to pick someone <laughs> sure uh, how about uh nina is it nuyen nuyen Nice oh, background, Nina. Nina. <laughs> I feel like that's not, that. that's not true. The office. I love it, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> I use this for work, so somehow, like initially, it came out as that's the funny. Intro. <laughs> that's So funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Nina, and Nguyen. I go by DJ Nina Ross. Woo -woo. And, yes. and I guess I'm like an alum. It's so sad. I can't say I'm a student anymore, but um, like always BJ Iowa's family. You're I know. Right <laughs> um, yeah, so I graduated from the foundation program and I also graduated from the structure program. And uh, uh, I started in 2000 and I would say 2017 um, at Beat Junkies. Like uh, Maricel hosted a sip and scratch, I think the very first one. Oh, yeah, um, that's how you, I, I met you. Yeah, I, I was like, I actually scrolled down to my photo just to see my Instagram, just to see when the first, uh, first date was. And I think I, I bought my own turntables uh, a little, a little bit after that, actually, because it was my first time touching turntables. And I was just like, it was a wow moment for me, because it's just like, so powerful. And then, you know, just to see DJ Shorty um, teaches how to scratch with like different principles and never thought and never imagined, you know, um, that I would be doing this. But yeah, and then during the day I work as a public health professional. So now we're kind of like in the trenches of, luckily I work in the nonprofit sector. So we're all working from home, um, but definitely not as crazy as first responders, you know, as nurses, um, but more on the kind of like family resource kind of side. So I, I think this is like a tough time, um, you know, where uh, like we're trying to like um, be as helpful as we can um, to families and students in LA Unified with whatever their needs are. Um, but I haven't, sadly, I haven't touched my turntables in like three weeks. Okay, at least you're admitting it. <laughs> <laughs> that she's quarantined without them. It's so sad. I know, like, I see all my friends and, like, we're on group chats, you know. We have, like, Sometimes you have a whole, so many things to do, like, it's, our work hasn't stopped, right? So, like. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, hoping to get back soon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks, Nina. Mm -hmm. okay. um, popcorn, oh, Alina. Popcorn. She's like next to me right now. <laughs> no problem. She's not next to you. Oh, mine. She's nice. <laughs> You're okay, Alina. So nice to see everyone. Hi, Alina. My name is Alina. I went to the Beat Junkies um, in 2000, from 2018, I think. Oh, no, 17 or 18. So I graduated the foundation program. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm still keeping in touch as much as I can. Um, I saw you in the, the homeroom. Oh my God. I haven't scratched in a while. So I've been drilling homeroom and been just trying to do it as much as I can. I don't do um, like, sometimes I don't attend like um, classes with uh, Babu and um, uh, who else? Um, yeah, I think Babu is the hardest for me for now. 
So I'm sometimes they're all hard. I'm like, oh my god, what are they doing? Yeah, <laughs> but red matic and chalk are always so it just reminds me back of what we had back in the day. So <laughs> I enjoy it. So I definitely that was kind of like my resolution for this time to just like hone in on scratching. So I feel like I'm getting there. Oh, that's a big step. You yeah, yeah. Like scratching. I know. <laughs> I've been just like DJing and um in Ableton for quite some time, but I haven't like scratched scratched in a while, so I really been enjoying that. Um, what else? During the day, I work for Disney, so I do media uh, for Disney parks, and unfortunately, we're closed right now, oh. so not much to do, but still a lot of projects that linger. Mm -hmm. Um, that's about it. Awesome. And you're already, and you've been gigging too outside. So you're, te you're alumni as well, but you've been getting gigs and things like that, just like Nina too, right? Yeah, I've been gigging for a little bit. And now I'm just um, trying to balance DJing. Not right now, but right. it's not at the very moment. <laughs> yeah. but, um, I'm really into producing as well, um, into Ableton. So I'm trying to like balance that out. Um, yeah. I actually just seen Miguel. I sold my mixer to him. Wait. Oh, no. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. You were selling it. That was queen. Yeah. Okay. I just seen him. Cool. <laughs> BJI was a great wine. Oh. <laughs> so he just needs turntables. So if you guys know anybody who has turntables, he just needs that and um, he's going to be set. Well, thanks for that. Cool. <laughs> Nominate somebody, Alina. Who's who's gonna um, introduce themselves? I'll do Cheryl. I'm seeing Cheryl. I haven't seen Cheryl in a while. Thank you. Hey, Hello, ladies. Yeah. I am as well a graduated foundation student of BJ IOS. I was supposed to start structure April sixth, <laughs> um, but definitely not doing that. I I miss everyone. I miss all the girls, um, and I'm. Definitely looking forward to meeting anyone that I haven't met um, in the future when this all goes away. Um, I was fortunate to also, you know, witness Ladies of Sound kind of birth. Um, I helped moderate like the first, one of the first um, events that we did and just however much it blossomed is, is so uplifting and, you know, a great, you know, thing to know that I can fall back on, you know, the knowing that like whoever that I contact in this plethora of females that I've, you know, collected through the school, that every single one of us, I don't know if it's just the, the idea, ideation of being a female in this industry, because it is male dominated. But that's what gave me comfort, you know, again, when Nina was talking about the sip and scratch, um, and her went to one of those too. Yes, I did go there. I think I met Nina there. I really did because that was, yeah. I do remember that. Um, you had long hair. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. Um, but I had a lot, I, I had a lot of DJ friends and I've always wanted to DJ, but I, even though like I love learning, I never had the balls to ask my guy friends like, can you teach me how to DJ? <laughs> or like, you know, I, I felt like the equipment was just so intimidating that I never like crossed that boundary. And then here we are with Shorty and she's just like rocking it. And, you know, I am, I am, I am probably more of a scratcher. Um, I love it. Um, I don't have tables. I have a portable that my friend gave me and the motor just went out. So I am just so sad because <laughs> no. I would scratch on my portable. Um, one thing that I, I did pick up from, you know, the homerooms, which again, I love this community. I love how you guys are just spearheading DJing even in, in these times. Um, I watched Shortcut's um, homeroom and he was just like, yeah, me and D, we used to air scratch. And I'm like, air scratch? And, and so I, I actually now, since I don't have my portable, I'm like air scratching all day because he's like, yeah, we used to air scratch. Trans, you know, so, you know, Ruth, I know that you don't have tables, but or, you know, didn't really have a lesson yet, but there's, there are ways to still kind of keep up. I have a controller also, believe it or not, when I was following Babu's homeroom, I was scratching on my controller. So that can be done. <laughs> um, I was able to do a little bit of things, but I think it's just the movements that are really important to keep up. Um, but yeah, like, I, again, this community has been something that I feel is necessary. 
Um, I'm so thankful for everyone and, and it's just so uplifting to see everyone get connected um, and support each other. I, I honestly feel like nothing compares to the support of you have of other females, um, especially in this industry. And so, um, yeah, I work at, okay, that's DJ part, but <laughs> I work in interior design. Um, I work at an interior design firm, um, something I actually never did before, but um, I love it. Um, if anything, I used to come from fashion um, and that was kind of like my, my go-to in terms of what I love to do. Um, but I like to dabble into a lot of things. Um, I'm a, I love to learn if anything, one thing that I'm really good at is like learning new things, anything that's new. Um, so again, this community is as, as long as it's, you know, going to be around and being open with the knowledge of DJing, like you have me for life. And yeah. <laughs> well, um, Cheryl, um, Cheryl's up, one of our OGs for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cheryl um, actually was uh, one of the. You know, she she actually uh, well, really well spoken as you guys can see. But she, you know, she's my homie, and she was uh, an integral part when we did our very first, uh, you know, panel together for Ladies of Sound. That was actually mm -hmm. in that bedroom, saying like, oh, "What do I name this community? I don't even know." <laughs> We were in this bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I was chilling on literally. Like, what and and that's kind of uh, you know through through friendship and and you know all these uh, things that we had in common uh, that was that was birthed and yeah. um, you know that's something that was always important to me just to let you guys know watching the Beat Junkies carry on this friendship for like twenty plus years, which I'll I'll tell you. Um, just from what I've heard and what I've known in, in, in that industry, uh, you know, people think like, oh, yeah, groups are, uh, you know, they get along all the time or they're homies. Well, that's not always the case. Um, it actually takes a lot of work. Um, sometimes personalities don't clash. So, um, you know, aside seeing what was blossoming, another the other inspiration was seeing the collaboration between the Beat Junkies. Um, as, as people working together um, in business, but then carrying on their friendships um, seamlessly. It's like really crazy. Like, you know, they'll still be making each other laugh, you know, in group chats as much as they talk to each other every day. And as long as they've known each other, um, you know, and I'm like, oh, girls need that too. So, and, and, and we have that now. So, uh, you know. One thing I did witness too, is that as Ladies of Sound was unraveling, the guys, it's also very important with the support from the guys. And so it was, that was also, I think, a big reason um, why this is so successful. And Maricel, of course, being so close to them, um, she really like led that and was the one, she was like the clutch in terms of like, we can have all the ideas all day long, but Maricel is the one that has to like, well, be, the for, I'm the one be the forefront to like talk to them. <laughs> Cool. So, um, sorry, everybody, whoever is, I'm um, just joined us. Welcome. Oh, that's Jen. Um, so Cheryl, nominate okay. somebody to uh, say hello and introduce themselves. Um, let's do Jocelyn. I feel like I've met, I saw you at the last graduation. So hello, Jocelyn. You're next. <laughs> hey, Joss. uh, so I'm Jocelyn and I started uh, with the Beat Junkies last summer. So July of 2019. Uh, I had no prior experience in DJing, but it was something I've always loved just as a hip hop fan and just seeing just even the beat junkies as fans, seeing them perform live and all other types of DJs, something I've always wanted to do, but um, just being a female, I just felt so intimidated to kind of just start learning or I just never really had the resource to learn to DJ and like uh, just bouncing back to what Cheryl was saying, the equipment itself was like super intimidating. At the beginning, um, but I started with intro, and I am now on Foundation Mondays. Um, we're actually just starting Serato. <laughs> yeah, right when you guys started to learn it, then COVID. Happened. We had like two classes, I think, and then the whole COVID situation came about. But um, I, so far, my experience at the school has been very positive. I love how everyone just kind of helps each other. And it's very welcoming. I think at first, um, in my first classes, I was a bit intimidated because I really didn't know anyone. But just seeing how uh, warm and welcoming everybody is and 
so supporting, like I said, um, it's just kind of like, you look forward to going to classes, you look forward to going to practice and just to all the events. Um, so I really enjoy it and I miss everyone. Um, aside from DJing, I also took on audio engineering. So I do work uh, part-time with a friend at a studio in Pasadena. Nice, I didn't know that. Oh. I'm sorry? I said nice, I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm, I've learned to track vocals, instruments, how to mix and, and be on the board and stuff. It's pretty cool. And my real job, aside from that part-time, is I do accounting for a um, like an auto supply firm called Chemical Guys. Not sure if you guys have heard of them. But they're online. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> nice. Wow, I didn't know you did so much. <laughs> yeah. So um, Alina, um, Jocelyn's actually in in Miguel's class, so they're classmates. Oh yeah, Michael Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, welcome Jocelyn. Um, so can you nominate the next person? Yeah, anyone you know or someone you know? B. <laughs> but yeah, you with the long to gone back. Not paying attention. <laughs> what up, lady? What up? <laughs> um, Hi, my name is B, and um, no, um, yeah, uh, my name is B. I am a former Foundation Friday student at Meet Junkies. I was about to hop into structure when this all happened, so I'm just waiting for that. Uh, I worked with a Mellow D and Rhythmatic for an entire year. That was fun. Um, I am a weightlifter. I am co uh, USA weightlifting certified. You never for... told us that. No yeah. wonder it was, it was all random. One day she like I see it. I see it, it but it's like, never. I never hear it. Hear about like, it. Girl, you have such a nice body. What the heck? <laughs> it's all right. You know, <laughs> this doesn't help. <laughs> Oh, really um, telling Mello that you're gonna get him better beers. I was dying. Oh yeah, because he's forever on Blue Moon, and and uh, whenever we would gift them something, I would give him beer, and it'd be really good beer. And I'd be like, okay, so don't go back to Blue Moon after this. But he goes back. Uh, but anyway, so uh, USA uh, Level One Coaching Certified. I currently work as a server. Well, not right now, but you know, before all this. I'm a, I was a server, and yeah, I'm just a, a DJ. I'm putting together a couple mixes. I'm trying to figure that out because I literally had no idea how to do anything. I actually text Sammy and was like, "Am I supposed to get it perfect?" Yeah, we can talk on the side, and and, and we we can discuss further about how to like. Really yeah, yeah. Guys so have I'm been learning. Reaching out to us if you have questions about stuff like that. Yeah, and so I did it. I was like, I should have asked this so long ago because I have this mix that I have. I just need to figure out how to put it together. It? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, so uh, I'm working on a mix and what else about me? I'm a cancer. That's true. Everyone should put their everyone put their signs on the chat. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I started out an intro and then I hopped into the Foundation Friday. I met uh she was here, me and my girl Nancy. Nan live in Beijing, if any of you know her. I totally need that shirt she just made. Right with the oh. and the Rizza. Mm. Yeah, that was yeah, that's a good one. Uh her her and I have been like a duo. So we have a couple things that we've been discussing and how we want to execute stuff. So some of that's gonna be starting Ooh, up. Ooh, you can see the collaboration. Yeah, we have we have a lot of ideas. So uh, Yay, can't it. wait to so. hear. Yeah, we got we got some stuff we're we're talking about. So hopefully, with everything, we're just trying to take the time. I'm trying to take the time now to not only practice but get a mix out. Work on my. Uh, ever since the meeting with Cherish, I had Nancy. I was like, Oh yeah, Nancy, are you gonna start on my logo now? <laughs> <Can you help? laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Can you help me, please? Yeah. 
Yes, so. I want to see that logo. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do lo we're going to do a follow-up conversation now that you say that. And I'm going to be like, "All right, everybody who got their logo since um <laughs> we had that hey, yeah, do that. No, yeah. You probably should. <laughs> yeah, cool. Thanks. Oh. Me. Yeah. Um I did want to um Oh, wait, who, do I get to nominate somebody? Yes. Okay, sorry. Jenny. Hello, who, me? Can you hear me? Yes. Any space. <laughs> we have to um, DJ names, guys. Huh? Yeah. Have to say your DJ names, too. Jenny Spice. That's my DJ name. Uh, probably because I'm just a 90s kid that loves Spice Girls and... <laughs> Britney Spears and things of all that sort. That um, spicy? And because I eat a lot of spicy food, I'm also a spicy little bitch sometimes. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been in Beat Junkies since probably, I want to say 2018, like March of 2018. So I've done the uh, foundation and I finished structure recently. Ooh. Um, it's been a ride. It's been, honestly, it's been really amazing kind of transitioning into this field of like, I don't know, just as a creative outlet, an extra creative outlet for me, because it's something that I've always wanted to do that I didn't know that I've always wanted to do. And like, I, I just like, cre I like expressing myself in a lot of different creative ways. Um, and I guess like, ever since I was a kid, I would mix music in my head when I would hear it on the radio like oh this would sound so cool with this if I like put this song but it was never like I was just like oh yeah I want to be a DJ it was just especially since there you know you don't really see a lot of women so it, it wasn't probably until like a few years back when I started going out to music shows and like festivals and stuff um I don't I'm sure a lot of you guys some of you guys know about like selection um if you guys know about like Sasha Marie, she was pretty much the first person to like really put me on. I felt like when I saw her on stage, I was like, holy shit. I know like, that. We should do a show with her. She's a homegirl. Yeah. Like when I first saw her, I was like, holy shit. Like, and she was dope. I was like, I, I want to do this. How do I do this? Like, where do I, where do I get to learn how to, or where can I learn how to DJ? Um, and my dad also has experience because my dad's been DJing since like back in the day, but him and I are just like, we just bump heads and I can't. So <laughs> like, I'm not going to learn from you. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm also really glad that I went to the school because you know, you, you also, a community comes along with that and I've just made so many friends from it and I'm so happy to be around. I'm so happy to be around so many other female DJs, you know, like woo! it's yeah. I love it and it really inspires me. Um, but yes, I'll take that up on doing whatever you said, Sammy. Wait, what? Um, Sasha. Whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. But um, other than that, I um, kind of do some, I guess, odd jobs. I work in a women's wholesale uh, showroom in downtown. It's selling women's clothes, but wholesale. Um, I do styling. That's my personal form of, like another form of a creative outlet. And I also do catering sometimes. So I'm just out here hustling, trying to get my coin, you know, whichever way I can. That bread. You know? <laughs> It's hard for a bitch out here because everything's going to close now. Um, but yeah, um, that is that. I don't know what else to say about me. Um, well, I miss you guys. I, I want to be out of this already. I miss everybody. No. So, uh, Who's going to use their stimulus check for DJ things? Right? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> terrible. whole industry oh. got hit. Okay, so let's see here. Someone. Let's see who. I don't know who already went because oh, I kind of. Well, um, well, I, I, see, in, I see Sabrina. I think we have Hi. Sabrina. Hi. Yeah, Sabrina. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Sabrina. Um, I'm based out of Orange County. 
Ooh, ooh. Um, uh, I am not, I follow you guys on um, Instagram. I follow BJ iOS um, on Instagram as well. So this is how I found out about it. Yay. Um, I am still kind of trying to get into DJing. Um, so far, like my experience is I've been making mashups. So I feel like that kind of taps into, you know, DJing and producing. Um, I started learning how to DJ last year when I would go up to my friend's place and he let me play around with his controllers. And then right before COVID happened, another friend of mine let me borrow one of her um, one of her controllers. So I've been able, I've been jumping on homeroom and learning how to scratch the controller with, nice. you know, with oh. whatever I can. And sometimes um, you just gotta do it that way. You gotta. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you gotta. Be yeah. Like, See, Ruth, jump jump in homeroom. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm still thinking about DJing because I just know that, like, the equipment and all that is it is an investment. So, if, like, I really do want to go into DJing, then it'd be, ha- I'd really have to go into getting gigs and doing all that. Um, I'm also one of, I'm also part of Tractivist Radio on Dash Radio, and I know Beat Junkies has a station on Dash as well. Um, we air on the Discover station, and um, our focus is Asian Americans. Dope. Yeah. So that's cool. That's how I've been able to meet, you know, um, a lot more people in the music industry. Um, I work part time as a receptionist for a music teaching studio in Long Beach. Cool. Um, But I know that's only part time. I'm still looking into getting a full time job. I just don't know what, you know, the I've always wanted to go into the music industry. I just don't know what it's going to look like right after all of this happens. But um, I've been I'm lucky that I can still have a job right now, but um, I know it's not like my my um, eh, my last you know my last spot. But um, yeah, if like anyone, I'd love to like network with y'all more. Um, add me on LinkedIn. Um, on that. Yeah, plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> yeah, just search me on LinkedIn. <laughs> <something like that. laughs> Yeah, everybody yeah. share your handles, and your <laughs> whatever have you. No, seriously, like, you guys should all put your handles. On. How do you share your LinkedIn? <laughs> Oh, uh, how do you know how to do that? I made one and I don't even know. I was like, why did I make this? I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, like just editing the URL and everything. But you can search my name. Like, yeah, Sabrina Munar. So if then, you were a DJ, Sabrina, let's ask you if you what what's what would be your DJ name? Or, so when I make my mashups, I actually add a tag. It's just my Instagram and my my, my basic social media handle. It's 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 Sabrina M. So I T Z Sabrina M just because I haven't really thought about um, a DJ name yet. Like, nothing's really clicked with me. But right now, so right now, I'm just going with my, like, basic um, social media handle. In time, what kind of music do you like? Um, a lot of pop. Um, a lot of the artists that I've been really into are from the radio, from the um, the playlist that um, we have on a radio show. So right now, Ruby Ibarra is one of hey, our favorite people. Yep. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> island woman rise. Boy, well, I'm a <laughs> yeah, probably so, Filipino. She's a dope rapper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, welcome. Glad you, you joined in. And uh, Ruth and Serena, you guys are in the right place because let me tell you, when any one of these ladies has a gig, I definitely see. Ooh, nice, nice, cherish. Look at that. Um, I definitely see. Um, we see each other. It's it's a, it's uh, coming to the school comes with a nice support group of like-minded people, um, and then you know the everyone just rolls pretty deep. It's 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 amazing. So uh, what's cool is like when you graduate, you think like, oh, does anyone want to go to my gigs? And you're like, Sh- came with a built-in community. Like, you know, <laughs> where we we're always proud to say like, oh, well, you know, with the Foonie book, anyone are they going to bring people? Yeah, actually, who bring like a pretty like, good amount. Like a of default school. entourage. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you guys are in the, definitely in the right place. But does anyone want to share anything else in terms of like, what are you trying to do during this time? I know that I am trying to practice more. I'm also trying to set up a better, um, like have a better DJ setup for me at least. That's kind of what I'm working on. I'm like painting my room. Better as far as what? Like better equipment or? Oh no, just like right now my turntables are on like a old desk like a computer desk so it's yeah. super low 
I literally <laughs> just got um, another, like a high top table. So I'm trying to move everything around. I'm also trying to just make my space, you know, use yeah, it because know. we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> uh huh. I, I, I have a feeling it's going to go past May, too. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna go into like Sorry, I'm just being realistic. Like, oh, we're thinking even wait. further than that. Yeah. 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 So uh homeroom is gonna be the thing, guys, because you know what? I don't know when we're gonna open the doors and I was I was oh, Marisol, show us what show us what you got, Marisol. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, Marisol, she's, she's ready. I'm she's off and on for the turntables right now. Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Uh, the play off of um you know the matrix you know when you're like they were in the ship and they called it the nebuchadnezzar and they had like all these screens everywhere which is literally what i have i have a screen right here i have a screen right in front of me i have a camera right here <laughs> turntables and then records and then this is not even my area i actually work on the other side so i have like my imac over there and like two other uh three laptops i have like our two school laptops um because i need to i just work off too many computers and then my personal ones so it's pretty pretty crazy but um, one thing i do love about babu's homerooms is that babu has the top camera i'm like yeah <laughs> I'm like, you came with, you got a producer with you. I know. No, yeah. none of the other guys have that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like the top camera. Like the built-in Marisol. I know, right? right? Built-in <laughs> yeah, Sometimes, like, I try to time, like, the, the, the camera switches to where, like, you know, if he's, if he's scratching, I'll try to put it on the top one but then sometimes he'll be like four bars or like eight bars and so uh, whatever reason it'll I have to like manually do it so sometimes I'm like oh how am I counting and then I'll like switch it and I'm just like looking at him like you're so lucky dude <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah it's uh we're we're lucky we have like all this set up and that I actually um you know know how to use all of this stuff it's been a challenge so I know you guys are like wanting to DJ and work on all that stuff, but I'm actually um, spending my time learning like stuff like RMTP and OBS <laughs> and just a ton of stuff that has everything to do with just live streaming and because I, you know, it's it's where our future is headed, which is new norm today really crazy to say um because uh the joke that we have we're like oh man open the school are we all gonna be like bring your own masks every i mean it's gonna happen right like Ooh. bring your own masks i just want to hug you guys i know <laughs> i just want to like hug my friends and hug like uh, the community and we just can't do that right now and we're gonna be in there with everybody has their own gloves bring your own vinyl like it's 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 gonna be interesting so <laughs> I, I mean, didn't even think about that part. Stations are six feet away from each other. <gasps> yeah. Are they? <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's Four funny. Before we closed for quarantine, we were literally like telling Miguel and like me and Sam, like, okay, we have to spray everything. Literally up. cleaned everything. Every single knob. Every single clean. We were cleaning the turn. It was. When you yeah. think about it, like there's there's a lot of people coming in and out of our doors throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And then like we touch stuff. You know, like we have to touch oh, yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did yeah, that. You guys were like, lick your fingers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a finger licker. <laughs> yeah. I oh, you're a finger licker beat. Uh, yeah. 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 I can't. You know? Why? Because I get down, okay? <laughs> I had the yeah. tabs that he kept. Yeah, it looks dirty, like, right? I get down too. Shit, I do not lick my fingers. <laughs> get a sponge and put it. Put it next. Ew. To <laughs> like the groceries. That's so nasty. Don't, 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 don't touch my shit. Then. Don't touch my shit. <laughs> no, it's no, like your, pick your a station is the second <laughs> row to the Where? far left, B, right? Is it the second <laughs> row to the far left? That's your station. I'm never yeah, going. Yeah, nobody to touch my station. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to that station. <laughs> be juice. Be, be all lick over. your hands. Oh my god, I can't, I can't even imagine how dirty my own shit is. <laughs> and I have, it's just and I have so much shit. Dude, you guys, Cherish has like a sweet studio. Cherish, give us a tour. Oh, yeah. Cherish, your tour, Kano tour, kid. Tour. I like that Kano kid piece behind you. Okay. 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 Uh, give us I'll a give tour, tour of like everything. Her house is cool. Yeah, you guys. And Tonka, please. Virtual tour. Ooh. All right, so we do Ableton in this house. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is this is a mixer that I highly recommend. This mixer. This is a Zoom mixer. If you're going to be producing, and you're going to be producing out of Ableton and live instruments, and your DJ shit. You okay. need to get this mixer. This is the best I've ever used. What's you were not in New York. I think it's everything. called it's called, it's called Zoom Live Track. Zoom Live Track. And there are three versions. I have this is the twenty. Um, I also have uh, the twelve in another studio. But if you're just starting off and you just have like a few instruments, the twelve is great, great. And if anyone wants to know how to hook it up, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So here is. Um, you need to have more than one monitor if you're going to be producing. Sometimes that's like a film that I'm doing the scoring for, but right now it's the Imelda Marcos film because I was about to dive into it. But oh <laughs> um, here in the studio, I use the new Mark because it's like just a hybrid between, you know, feeling vinyl and controller and it's just compact. And then here's Nanlib. Look at Nanlib. Oh, hey. um, then we have, you know, one turntable here to do actual like samples and stuff. So I'm just gonna rotate in my chair. Cause it has a turntable designated for sampling. Like, <laughs> okay, yes, I know. Right. Else. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of turntables here, that's why. So, um, and if you're producing, obviously you need a MIDI keyboard, but I have, it hooked, I have this hooked up to an, uh, a Roland. And then there's just, there's a few keyboards here. Oh, wow. It's weird. Mm, yeah. um, and then, <laughs> And then you're going to see my doggy <laughs> on this the side of the crazy. So then there's like cables. Of course, there's cables everywhere. Crazy shit everywhere here. Mm. And then hold on. Let's get the doggy. <laughs> Tonka. Tonka, where are you? So here's where the vinyl lives. Or turntable. Yeah. She has her own little like long to gone going thing going on. This is why I don't want to live with anyone anymore. Because <laughs> I don't want anyone touching my shit. And then the most important thing, you have to like your space, you know, you gotta love your space and fill it with all these cute things that inspire you. Like this is one of my favorites. Aww. Aww. The vibes. You gotta do <laughs> stuff like that because you know, we get trapped in these spaces okay. but, like for hours at a time, so you gotta vibe it up. <laughs> yeah. So my studio is nuts because I produce for Netflix and um, it's afforded me to do that. <laughs> ha, that Netflix Listen, money. <laughs> it is Netflix money. <laughs> but I mean, if you Wait. become a producer DJ, mm. DJ producer, mm. yeah, then you can do more than you know the one job. Also, now um, you all know cherish. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get down on uh, Serato yeah. Studio. Yeah, yeah. Serato Studio is very Serato cool too. Studio. Yeah. yeah, it gets out all the hard work of, uh, I mean, Ableton is a really heavy program. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen Fabs make a beat, you know, like in Ableton, it'll, it'll take him hours, but Serato, Serato Studio. Studio speeds it up. Yeah. Yes, Serato. Serato Studio is awesome. Yeah, you yeah, guys should try really awesome. one. It's a really easy way of like kind of making your own beats and trying to see because it'll link it'll link your Serato library straight in. So now you have access to sampling all the songs on your Serato, and then just yep. It yeah, if anyone wants some kind of like guidance on that, I got I got training from Serato on Serato Studio. So oh, just just nice. hit me up and we can <laughs> do the home Serato home. Studio yeah. Zoom. Let's just yeah. do next Tuesday. Let's next Tuesday, 6 p.m., guys. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, I, just, I want you all to make a ton of money. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I can't Thank serve you. anymore. <laughs> I can't serve anymore. My goal is to eight. do this and lifting. That's all I want to do. <laughs> yes. I don't want to serve tables anymore. I'm tired of people. Do you even lift, sis? Do you even lift, sis? <laughs> You'll get there, B. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> But, um, oh, so I actually I can give you guys a mini tour, but sorry, my mouse is messy. Oh my god! I finally figured. Give it us out. a tour. I give you guys, show you guys what it looks like. Guys, like, um, this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, listen. When I saw B's background, I actually thought it was a strip joint because of the pole. Oh! <laughs> I was like, I want that photo. <laughs> okay. I should do that with a client. Put like a strip wait, wait, club behind. That, 
How do you do that backwards? This, this was actually taken at, of course, the First Ladies of Sound event. That's right, oh, toast there in the back yeah. with the, with the, that's actually where I, uh, you know, ended up jumping in, went to that event because everybody was scratching and I'd been scratching in my room for years by myself and all my SC DJ friends were too busy to teach me anything more and I really wanted to mix. So I went to that event, won a gift card, and yep, won two <laughs> gift cards. <laughs> How jealous are your friends, like your DJ friends? Because I have DJ friends too, and like now that I finished the program, like they don't want to admit that 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 I might be better than them. But like I'm just like, yo, yeah, I could cut it up. Can you cut it up? No. Well, yeah, no, sorry, no, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I know. Oh, like, you can't. You know. can't do a baby scratch. Oh my god. Well, one, one thing that I can honestly say that I uh, with confidence. So I know that you guys like love Sasha Marie. I'm not taking anything away from her, Jen. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. um, but girl, you could serve her on the turntables. Let me just oh. tell you. Uh, all you guys can <laughs> because you okay. went to the hardest school okay. ever so well, yeah no I just I mean I was honestly just inspired by like her I guess her creativity kind of just like her mixes because so that was for me that was what I wanted to do like I didn't necessarily come in thinking like oh yeah you know like I want to be uh, I want to scratch yeah. although that's what we we're mainly learning like obviously that's amazing and I love to do it but my goal was to like learn how to mix so that I can put, I don't know, just make my own like creative mixes and just kind of put different elements into the mixes. And mm -hmm. But yeah, now you just, have both. Now you have like your good selection tape. Yeah. Um, and I mean like literal selection of music. Yeah. And now like your technicalities. Yeah. And that's what makes a good DJ when you have both. You know? Yeah, I actually can't talk to you guys and give you a tour because I'm away from the mic. So I hope you guys saw. <laughs> I backed away and I was like, I can't even talk. I they can't hear me. But I don't know if you guys saw the. Um, where's Babs? Can he help you? <laughs> yeah, where's Babs? I said um, I have a community chat tonight, so I'm not cooking dinner because I'm sick of cooking dinner. <laughs> God. So guys, I can't. I refuse. I love making banana bread, but I'm like, I'm not making it. I'm not. Like, I, I, I always think I'm a bad cook bread. now. No, because they don't want the bananas to go bad, and oh, you know, yeah, you're all yeah. ripe already. You just make bread out of it, or you freeze it and put it in a smoothie. Yeah. I don't know. The first I putting it in room, I was like, <laughs> when when Marisol came up, because it was Babs on the first homeroom and then at the very end Marisol came up to like talk and I was like yo I wonder if people are wondering like why is Marisol quarantining <laughs> with him <laughs> well if, if anybody follows me on Instagram it's uh, not hard to, to find out I mean but like that's story. hysterical you should all share stories it. of how oh. we found out they were actually a couple because I stalked her and I was like what the heck <laughs> I had suspicions <laughs> I didn't have no yeah. idea well well, Marisol was in my class at first. She was taking class with me. And I thought she was just a regular student who worked at the school. And then, um, <laughs> and then I went on her Instagram and I saw like some, some like, cute posts with them. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I remember when I learned, when I learned, it was Instagram and it was like, Babs was like, she said yes. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, you guys, wow. well, and now we've really been together. So, let's answer, Brina. So you know, it's a cat Seven time. years, seven years, right? Seven years. Oh, going on eight. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Man, that's how long I've been single. Wow. <laughs> oh my god girl well i don't know i just know that all my homies that are djs um that you know they love ladies of sound they're like damn all these dopest dj girls i'm like yo for backup it's not that easy okay you know <laughs> but no it's uh it's it's so awesome because i literally like remember going to all the parties and and like, you know, I, you guys know I was like a photographer. So I'd, sometimes I just roll dolo because nobody, oh, I don't want to party. I'm like, fine. Well, I'm just going to go work. And then I'd just be like, oh, so who's here? What's up, Mona? <laughs> so <literally, laughs> that's like, it. Just that's, that's it. it. We're like the only two girls on the stage or like other people's like homies, but I didn't really know them. Um, so then now it's like, now we all go to one party if we're supporting each other and like, everyone's there so it's so cool because um i know a lot of people are like oh i don't want to go dolo i'm like so you go dolo but then guess who's there nina's there <laughs> and 
there, Alina's there, you know, Cheryl's mm-hmm. there, everybody's there. So that's that's always like the big the big bonus. Now I'm a it's, huge uh, fan. Oh, go ahead, huh? sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, I'm just saying when we get out of this quarantine girls and it's okay to travel again, just letting you guys know the whole point of leading this town was supposed to be so we could all like go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but that's on pause until we get a vaccine. That's all I gotta say. Uh, but you know, that's that's like the the bigger picture. Like for Where us, we going to the Netherlands in person <laughs> in other. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man, but cool guys. Like I'm so glad that we were able to come in and kind of just chop it up and you yeah, have a little bit more interactive. I know that the the last few sessions were kind of intense. Which, if you guys haven't caught them, and they're really good, though. I'm not not intense in a bad way, but it was just like there's a lot of information that you guys can get um, that'll be really helpful to you guys as um, DJs, as aspiring DJs and working DJs. So you guys can always check it out on our website to look at the past ones if you guys want to watch them. Especially Cherish's one is really good too. Oh yeah, Cherish drops a lot of gems. That's why Bee's getting her her logo going and everything like that. And mm-hmm. then if you guys like don't know graphic designers, you know Nancy, who's a student, she's super dope. Um, but yeah, guys, share your resources. If you know someone that's like a a friend that does graphic design or um, do, builds websites and that type of thing. We should just all share that information so that we can all, uh, you know, support the community and, and help our friends out, um, you know. Because, you know, when this is over, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing everybody hitting the ground running. Do I see That's what I'm do? trying to do. That's what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. I'm going to let everyone put in their IG handles. Oh, yeah, let's share our IG handles, follow each other. Get be that LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Oh, our, our story. <laughs> Gary V loves LinkedIn. I don't know if you guys follow Gary. He does. I do. Wait, say cheese. LinkedIn. One, Hold two, on. three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. <laughs> LinkedIn, LinkedIn is really important. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. LinkedIn is important, but man, it is important. Oh, it's so straightforward. I haven't been on there in so long. It's boring as fuck, but it is important. My dream job. What are you talking about? Yeah, LinkedIn is like (laughs) the the LinkedIn is guaranteed no creepers. Okay, no, no. Oh yeah, that's not true. You'd be surprised. That's not true. That's unprofessional. I get creepers. I get creepers find their way to flirt with you. Oh, really? Okay, I have not got that yet, but yeah, mm. yeah, they. I, I get it. They're called recruiters. Oh, <laughs> recruiters. Oh. And maybe I have. Cheryl. <laughs> 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 oh, I have an appointment with one of them tomorrow. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, guys, nice. cheers to that. Yeah, really we'll do next week and maybe okay, uh, yeah. what's I that mean, what are you drinking i totally drink? missed the, the that is that. damn damn that's a oh, whole yeah, bottle of wine of that oh shit <laughs> it's in my fridge we haven't been drinking it it's like you know that really really um sad wine where you feel like you're dr- you're in the boat <laughs> no, you're not no. actually you don't it tastes like I juice a bottle too I've been drinking this since I was 20. You know, I, I, you would think at 20 Are you minutes, drinking it out of the bottle? That's the question. There wasn't very much left, so I was like, let me just... Take that's it. not... Be- that's as looks adult- like about a third in there, Sammy. <laughs> you, girl. You. Get it, Sammy. As an adult. Man, I'm going to screenshot all of us toasting. Hold on. We were... Okay. Okay. I didn't see one drink. Anyone drink anything during this whole anything, thing? This I whole know. time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending. <laughs> uh, okay, you're like your holding phone. your phone and your arm we just see your arm <laughs> there we go <laughs> just peer pressure and, yeah. all right we well, well, know you can drink jenny bye bye so i love y'all so next week we'll have another bye. one miss you <laughs> <Home fruit. laughs> bye 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 y'all you gonna hit me up yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have another girl talk after this.